Now we can use this chat GPT and different AI models to generate our research question or even if I recommend you not to use the whole thing as well but at least at the first drop on which you can build over to your thing and which is there in front of you which will help you and ease your process of developing a research questionnaire. So I am in a free version of chat GPT uh, and it can also work in the same way. So let me ask give a prompt. You know, Kindly make a research questionnaire about, let's say, uh, of course, how much detail is the prompt? That is the better way, but let me just write down wearable devices use for health benefits, okay? Let's suppose that is a research question, but of course you can improve it you can make it much more detailed detailable or maybe even the synopsis kind of things can be added there and i'll giving this prompt to generate a research questionnaire so start working on the research questionnaire and let's see what it goes about let me come back from here age okay the age was in the categorized it's already done with the categorization male occupation educational levels do you currently use variable devices yes no uses pattern for example which variable device do you use for health it has given some of the options how often do you use all other things so it has given some pretty a kind of a good draft to work around and add my own things based on those things and plus the evidences but don't uh, skip stop here at once the first draft is there you can modify it you can work around it to make it more additional or deletion or for example here it has added that the age was given as a different groups but for the research purpose i need because it's a numerical data i need to present standard deviation and the mean which is cannot computed by this so let me ask to give some modification uh, kindly Okay, so I'll ask it that uh, it should be a open field of the age, not the other way around. And you can see open field for the numerical entry. So once I'm making the questionnaire, I can work around and make other thing adjustable. So if really we can work around and modify. It says that the first part it has modified for me to work around for those things. Let me ask it in the above complete questionnaire kindly ask which different types of variable device a person is using and also about different apps okay so i'll give him the command a prompt to modify the above mentioned questionnaire and based on my input it will start making the questionnaire and now you can see it will going to add some more modifications and things as i have asked it to do it the other way around as well so let me go and see where it is Okay. Which health related apps do you use for your smartphones with all fitness tracking app, nutritional tracking app, meditation, sleep, other. So it have added these kind of question as well. So that is just a, a brief overview of when you're designing a questionnaire using any chatbot, chatbot whether it's Gemini, is ChatGPT or any other as well. So once you give a prompt, the prompt should be more explanatory. And even if you created a synopsis, that's wonderful. 
even then when the question has been, been critically review it and then ask it to modify it based on what you want to add on those things and it will work around for those things so that is and then you can copy it in the word document to make it in the other way around and how you want to use it so looking so see you catch you in another videos related to ai in research and technology enhanced learning have a nice time